Welcome, welcome everybody. My name is Sarah Rogers and I'm going to quickly show you how to properly set up your social media. Specifically, I'm going to be walking you through a quick rundown on how you should set up your Facebook, okay? So, first of all, I'm going to go straight to my Facebook profile so we can go ahead and see exactly how we've been uh, setting these uh, profiles up. Okay, so first of all, you're going to see I have a clear picture of myself, okay? Now, this is going to be really important because Everything that you do to expose and build your business, you got to think of it from the lens of a consumer, okay? And you have to think of it from the point of building trust with a consumer. And building trust actually happens way before you physically get in contact with them, okay? Building trust is going to happen in the way you have your profile set up, the way you manage your profile, the visibility of yourself, because that is what's going to lead them to trust you enough to initially contact you in the first place, okay? So clear picture of myself, uh, you know, face, smiling, things of that nature. Sometimes when I do in-person events, you'll see me change my profile picture to an event that I was at, <clears throat> And then you're going to see in the intro, I have that I am a travel agent, right? Group Travel Pro, Master Vacation Planner. I put a, light, a nice little twist on it just to kind of be more creative. And then I also have linked my professional Facebook page, okay? So that's where you start branding yourselves. FYI, please do not make the mistake of branding yourself as an travel agent at Evolution Travel or travel agent at Archer Travel or say that you started a job with Archer Travel or Evolution, okay? You are not you are not a W-2 employee of either of company. You are a 1099 independent contractor affiliated with those companies. So what does that mean? That means that you do need to come up with your own name for your travel agent, okay? I operate as an independent business owner, meaning I am the owner of my travel agency, Never Ending Travel. So everything that I do that I brand is with that name, okay? So owner at Never Ending Travel. So that's going to be the same correlation that you want for your page setup, okay? If you are advertising that you work for Archer or Evolution Travel, that is like advertising that you are a corporate employee, which they do have corporate employees on their payroll. That is not what you are. So I want to make sure that you guys understand how to properly brand and put yourself out there. Okay. Now, with that being said, you also want to put something in your intro that you are a travel agent. The biggest thing that I always say to people is that you don't want to be a secret agent. Okay. Secret agents don't have people come to them. People who are out there advertising themselves as a travel agent, those are going to be people who are going to get people clientele going and inquiring with them. Remember too, when you're making your travel ads and, you know, doing things on social media, anytime I put myself out there, my, you know, if somebody's checking myself, my profile out, for instance, they can see that everything that I'm saying, you know, whether I'm doing an elevator pitch in a community group page, like, Hey, I'm a local travel agent would love to help you book this. They can come to my profile and quickly validate the fact that I am who I say I am, which is very important when you are marketing yourself on a social media platform, okay? That is why I don't hide what it is that I do, okay? I also have a travel picture, travel-related picture on my uh, on my uh, profile picture here, you know, just again to kind of go in line, give out the vibes that this is what I do, okay? The way I manage my profile too, I don't do any hard selling on my actual profile, okay? This is all attraction marketing and attraction marketing we can go into in another segment, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown, a quick tutorial on how and what I post, okay? So if I'm at events, I will post about the events. You'll see here that I recently picked up the MVP award at our annual convention or I'm sorry, annual birthday party. I like to also post motivational things. You know, it was obviously we just ended the new year. So um, as the new year was ending, I just kind of put out a, a post there that was asking, you know, where are people wanting to go in 2024? What are their travel goals, right? I'm not hard selling, but I'm constantly going to talk about travel, the travel industry and the things that I'm doing in the industry. Okay. That is more like attraction marketing. That's not hard selling. Okay. So you're going to see here, I also made a reel that was just kind of funny, but also in my caption, I do talk about, you know, self-doubting and how I overcame that and how I went on to continue with my, you know, business. And then here, again, this was something that I got during a Christmas party for the company. And I do post motivational stuff. So, you know, the fact that I've worked out a lot, that's something that I've been working on really hard in the year of 2023 going into 2024. So I post things like that. 
motivational stuff, you'll see here that I don't really um, do any hard selling. Okay. Very important, especially for those people that are concerned with not wanting to spam your friends and family. Well, part of that is not posting hard travel deals on my personal page. Again, I use this as a way to attraction market, uh, you know, either people that want to join the business or, you know, here's the thing, guys, consumers are going to watch you long before they inquire with you. So I want to make sure that I'm always uh, putting myself out there in a professional, but yet personal uh, matter, right? So, you know, as for example, my goals of, you know, my journey of, 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 of working out, right? This is something that's personable, but still can come off professional, right? Um, you know, me getting an award or me celebrating and being with the people that I do business with, that's showing some social validation, right? So, you know, everything that I do is in line with that. So you want to make sure that you are also setting yourself up in the same way. Now, the number one question that I'm going to lightly touch on before we go ahead and just end this quick little tutorial is Sarah, but what about a professional Facebook page? Yes, absolutely. I have one. Okay. Again, that is for social validation. I am not necessarily marketing on that. Facebook algorithms don't really pick up a business page. They're not going to show it out to random people. Um, you know, people that are friends with me, I can invite them to follow. But the way that Facebook algorithms work, even when I'm out there in Facebook groups, they much more prefer you interacting with your personal page because Facebook is a community-based platform, meaning they want real people, right? Not to say that your business isn't real, right? Or your business page is not real, but Facebook will favor you interacting on different community pages, different groups with your personal page, okay? I always remind people, listen, you're here to make money. Facebook is great you know, for keeping in touch with friends and family. And if that's what you want a personal page for, then create a new personal, personable page. You have to remember that consumers, the way they operate, if you were to go to a Facebook page and you saw that they were, it was a created Facebook page last week and they were trying to market a business to you, how trustworthy would you feel about that, right? So I always say, and the one, one of the questions that I get from people is, but Sarah, I want to keep my personal page personal. Can I start a new Facebook page that is for travel? It's better if you do the reverse. Why? My friends and family don't care if I make 20 Facebook pages. They're going to add me and do all of that stuff, right? But a consumer is going to be more less or going to be less likely to trust a brand new page that was just created a couple of days ago. So what I did and what the smartest thing that I probably did with this business was I decided to keep my Facebook page that was ongoing for, I don't know, a decade or so, and just convert it, clean it up, you know, make sure I'm not using any profanities, make sure that I'm not posting anything controversial, you know, present myself the way I would want somebody to present themselves to me if I was advertising for a business. Okay. So just keep those things in mind, guys, when you're going through this and you're setting yourself up for success. Remember everything that you're doing here is to gain traction with your online business. And this will help you fast track that journey for you. Okay. All right, guys. So I just wanted to come on and do a quick tutorial for you, quick kind of pointers and things that you should do when you are setting yourself up, make sure that you are actively engaging in our other trainings and also our daily schedule and our Facebook groups and all of that to get more tidbits and get more in-depth training on social media. Okay. Have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video guys.